thank you God for this afternoon oh God Heavenly I mean, Father God I thank you God that for the people who are watching oh God that they'll have a great time oh God for this program oh God Heavenly I mean, Father oh God as we come before you today oh God Heavenly I mean, Father we just thank you for life oh God Heavenly I mean, Father God we thank you God that we can still be alive oh God during this pandemic oh God and Heavenly I mean, Father oh God as we as they say oh God as the minister of God said, oh God, to stay home, oh God, and Heavenly Father, God, I hope, oh God, that everyone, oh God, is following that, oh God, and Heavenly Father, God, if we have to go out, oh God, Heavenly Father, oh God, let us walk with our face mask and the necessary, oh God, in your name, pray, say amen. When you just can't get along. <laughs> Carol told you a story. 
Who could tell me the name of that story? Anybody know? Sarah, you go ahead. Hmm? The good, the good Samaritan. Samaritan, the good Samaritan, and Auntie Carol shared about the good Samaritan that he remember he helped that man, that man that was beaten and left by the side of the road, and that good Samaritan did he pass him straight? No, he didn't. He showed love. He went and he took him and he cared for him, and that's the way we show love. And showing love is. When we show love, what we did? What that good Samaritan did? Hmm? The fruit of the Spirit was being operated in his life. Okay? Do you want the fruit of the Spirit to be operated in your life? Yeah. Yes, yes, we all do. Now, we want to talk about a different part of the fruit of the Spirit today. We want to talk about faithfulness. Right? Do you know what is faithfulness? Anybody? Yes. What is faithfulness? Yeah. All right. Tamaya? Okay. Telling people about Jesus. Alright, well that is yeah, part of being faithful to God. You go ahead, what is Caring faithfulness? For okay, for others, what is faithfulness? Do you know Kayla? Okay, I'll tell you a story, right? About somebody who was very faithful. I want you to listen carefully to the story, okay? Now Hannah, the name of the story is Hannah keeps a promise. Hannah keeps a promise. Okay. Hannah longed for children of her own. She had no children. Her husband, Elkanah, he had another wife, Peninnaya. Right? And the custom in those days were that you could have more than one wife. Right? So he had two wives, but not so today. Okay? Today, how many wives do you have to have? As a one. One, one wife and one husband. Okay? Okay. But Peninnaya treated Hannah badly. She was horrible to Hannah. She would tease her. Why do you think she was teasing her? Because she had no children. So she would make Hannah feel very sad. Okay? But Hannah, Hannah's husband tried to comfort her. Elkanah, he would say to Hannah, Am I not more to you than ten sons? And Hannah, they refused to be comforted. She did not want that comfort. What she wanted? A son. She wanted a son. And one evening, Hannah returned to the temple and she wept bitterly. She prayed silently to God. And she said to God, she said, Please God, if you give me a son, I promise you that I will let him serve in your temple all of his life. Okay? And Hannah lips moved, but she prayed silently. And when Eli the priest saw her, right, he thought that she was drunk. Was she drunk? No. no, she was not drunk. She, she was, was praying. She was sad. And he said to him, to her, put away that drunkenness. And she said, I am not drunk. I am just sad. I am telling God my troubles and asking him to help me. So who do we tell our troubles to? God. Yeah. God. Who do we ask for help? God. God. So Hannah was doing that. In that case, Eli said, God will grant you your wish. So Hannah was filled with hope. She was happy now. She was rejoicing now. She believed that God would answer her prayer. Okay? But Hannah, Hannah had her son. Okay? Hannah had a son and she named him Samuel. What was his name? Samuel. Samuel. So she got that son. Who gave her that son? God. Yeah. God gave her that son. And remember the promise that she, she made to God? Yes. You think she kept that promise? Yes. You think she was faithful? Yes. Okay, so she took that son when he was old enough. She took him to the temple. Okay, and when she went to the temple, she said to the priest, Do you remember me? You think he remembered her? Yes. Yes, he remembered her, of course. And he said, Yes. And she said, A few years ago, you saw me here praying silently to God. And I asked him for my son. And God fulfilled his promise. God was faithful to me. And I am giving the son to you now. That he will serve in the temple as long as he lives. And the priest said, Eli said, praise God for Hannah's faithfulness. And he took the son, who named was Samuel, into the temple to serve God all his life. So you see, boys and girls, Hannah was faithful to keeping her promise to God. So you see what is faithfulness? Faithfulness is doing what we promise to do. So when we promise to do, we promise God to serve him. We must be faithful. 
Okay? So we must be faithful to God. How can we be faithful to God? Anybody know? By doing what? By being kind. Anything else? By helping people. Helping people. By obeying. By obeying God. What about praying to God? Right. God wants us to talk to Him and to pray. And, and we must be faithful in that. In going to church. And in reading our Bible. Work. We must be faithful in doing our schoolwork. We must be faithful to our parents. How are you going to be faithful to your parents? By obeying, By obeying your parents. So you see, boys and girls, faithfulness is a part of the fruit of the Spirit. And who will help us to be faithful? Who? God. Oh, God, through His Holy Spirit. Where is His Holy Spirit? Hmm? In, us. in us. The Holy Spirit in us produces the fruit. Right? We cannot do it on our own, but the Holy Spirit will help us. Right? So the fruit of the Spirit will be operating in our lives. So boys and girls, I want to encourage you to be faithful. Okay, listen to God, be faithful to God, be faithful to your promise, to your parents, and be faithful in your schoolwork. Okay? Thank yes. you very much for listening to the story. Did you enjoy it? Yes. yes. Very good. Let's give God a hand. Hey kids, what's going on? This is Uncle Jaron here, and I was asked to share on the topic, you know, the fruits of the Spirit. And there are a lot of fruits of the Spirit. So here, yeah, it's found in the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 22. And it goes like this. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. But I was just asked to share on a few. But before I go there, when I hear fruit, I think plant. You cannot think fruit without plant. And when I think plant, so for instance, this is a fruit tree. And this is where it starts. Right? This is a purple tree. And how I see it is, you have to be in the right place, getting the right nutrients. And not just that, you have to stay in the right place. Because if I was to try to move this plant and try to put them somewhere else, my thing remains so healthy, right? Okay? So that is what I I, 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 I I gather from this. Stay in the right place. You know, the Bible talks about it in the book of Psalms, right? It went like this, you know. But it talk about blesses the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of mockers. But the but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, he meditates day and night. This is the law, you know, his Bible. He meditates. And he will be like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit, which bring forth its fruit in season. So again, I talk about staying in the right place. And once you stay in the right place, what's what can happen? There's a purple tree. This is a bigger purple tree here now. Look at it. With fruits. Right? <laughs> Because he stayed, but it was not always easy because he faced some storms, he faced some thunder showers, but he stayed in the right place and because he stayed there, he could now bring forth fruit. So this is me telling you to stay in Jesus. So after time, you will bring forth the fruit of the Spirit, the fruits of the Spirit. So the, the one that I was asked to touch on is faithfulness, um, self-control, and patience. So we're going to talk about faithfulness first. Yes, the bird loves to whistle when I'm speaking. Right? So faithfulness, most times is, is it reminds us of marriage. One person being faithful to his partner. And in this case, faithfulness is you staying faithful to God, walking in his ways, staying in his word, right? And staying in the right place like that tree, staying in the right place with God, you know, faithfulness calls for most times giving extra, going an extra mile, you know, like you talk about a footballer who is faithful in his training, he's the one that will run some extra laps, run an extra mile after training, he always wants to do a little more, right, the one that wouldn't give up no matter what, so that is faithfulness, I want to touch on patience, patience is a is a word that we all understand, right? And simply put, patience, you know, waiting, 
stay in the right place again, waiting on God, having patience to deal with people. Even when people anger you, the, the patience and the love in you with, with nah. You, 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 you know, you're not easily angered because of patience, because of love, which is the next fruit of the spirit, but I'm, they only ask me to touch on three, right? So having patience is a, is a very good thing, right? It's a very good thing. You were saying something, maybe? Yeah, I okay. say when somebody is patient, mm -hmm. it means that they have faith. Okay, so patience links with faith for yeah. us, mm -hmm. right? So again, like in marriage, sometimes your wife, my wife might get me vex, but because I have some patience, you know, and because I'm, I'm supposed to be faithful, I'm not easily angered. Because I will apply love, which is another fruit of the spirit, I'm not easily angered. So patience is, is, a, is a good virtue, as I should say. And the last one I'll ask to, I'll ask to touch on is self-control. Mm -hmm. Self-control is, simply put as it sounds, just as it sounds, controlling yourself, controlling you. And who helps you to control you is only Jesus that helps. That's who helps me to control me. So, in terms of someone might be get you angry, and you might say, you know what, I, I, as much as I'm feeling hurt, I don't want to be... I don't want to say what I, I'm, I'm thinking because that is not of God. Mm -hmm. And that is you practicing self-control. Self-control is, you know, I see you take it more and I chow. But the chow is salty and I know it's not healthy for me. But as much as I like the salt, mommy tell me don't eat the salt. I shouldn't eat it because it's not good for my health. Mm -hmm. That of itself is another example of practicing self-control. Practicing. Uh, and as you grow older, you'll understand what enhances this thing in terms of practicing self-control and the fruits of the spirit is fasting yeah. you know and why is it fasting you realize that sometimes you're feeling to eat something you know oh gosh boy that chicken looking good that cake is smelling nice but because i'm fasting i have to practice some self-control after we could deal with that so that is my little exhortation remember the plants stay in the right place because before you bear fruit, you have planted somewhere, right? And then when you stay there, this is where you can reach here and bear fruits, which is purple. But we can say love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, patience, self-control. You understand? But it all calls to you. Having patience, have patience and stay in the right place. Why is in the right place? Stay faithful to God. And then without a doubt, it will be easy for you to practice self-control. This video was brought to you by Uncle Jaron and the bird that was whistling all the time. Right. God bless you. And much more so stay in Jesus. Because he's the only one that can keep you. Stay close to Christ. This is Uncle Jaron and I love you. Blessings. Mind you about what we did this month, right? Right. Well, as we come to the end of July, I want to remind you before we say bye. This lesson for this month was well worth it. We learned about the fruits of the spirit. These fruits are important in our lives. They help us day by day so we can survive. So listen very carefully, children, as I remind you about them again. Hey, ba da 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 First we have love, this one never cease. After that one we have joy and peace. Patience and kindness go hand in hand. I hope you children really understand. The one after that is known as goodness. The number seven is faithfulness. Gentleness is one you must uphold. And last but not least we have self-control. Hey, 
So when you're in school and you get upset Remember all the fruits of the spirit Don't get in no fights, yes you young people And have to remember to be gentle And when your parents give you instructions Don't pout up your lip and fling up your hand You have to control yourself and be good Because the Bible says yes that you should Hey Some of all your children don't like to wait Patience is calling you by the gate You're writing exams, you didn't feel so great Shake it off and try to have some faith Have as much joy and peace that you can You'll be a great example to this nation Show respect for your elders always And I guarantee you will live longer days mm -hmm. That's right children so that's it for me, time for me to go I can't take up too much time on the show So children, I must say I'm very proud We'll see you next month, yeah, same time around So remember the fruit of spirit daily In Galatians 5, 22, 23 Any further questions to show and tell I think you should have some good already Boys and girls, it's old pal, Uncle Darrell again. So, the question last week was, where in the Bible do you find the fruits of the Spirit? So, the answer for that is Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 to 23. And there will you find what they say about the fruits of the Spirit. So, I thank all you boys and girls who, who participate. I thank you for the winner of this week's question. So, as we move on, this, uh, this week's trivia question is, What is the purpose of the fruit of the Spirit? So, boys and girls, hurry up. Text your answer to the number what, what is on the screen right now. Send your answers as quick as possible. So, again, the first child who have given the correct answer will win this week's prize. So, children, hurry up. Again, text your, text your answers at this number, what is showing on the screen. And remember, you, you will win this week's prize. So children, have a blessed day. In Jesus' name, Amen. that we have to come to you this afternoon. Lord, we thank you, God, as we are word go out to God. Father, Lord, on the worldwide web, oh God. Father, Lord, we thank you, God. Lord, as your word continues to touch those. Father, Lord, for the first time listening, oh God. Father, Lord, let your word manifest unto their hearts and their soul, oh God. Father, Lord, that even when they hear your word, oh Father, that they will remember your word, oh God. Father, Lord, we thank you for the fruits of the spirit that you continue to give. It is continue to bear in us each and every day. Lord, we just give you praise for this session, oh God. We give you thanks, oh God. And as we are about to close, we just want to say thank you for the opportunity. In Jesus' name we pray, we say amen.